In this example, we want to find the area of the region bounded by y equals to 7 times cosine of 5x, y equals to 7 minus 7 times cosine of 5x, and x is going between 0 and pi over 5. Okay. So looking over here in, our, in the figure, okay, we have uh, the graph in purple that you see here, that is 7 minus 7 times cosine 5x, and the one in blue is 7 times cosine of 5x. Okay. Okay, and x is going between 0 and pi over 5, so we notice that these two functions are crossing each other. Okay, so this means that we need to find, okay, right, we need to find the area uh, for this first region, okay, which is this part, and for the second region here. Okay, so we need first. What we need to do is find out where these two functions cross each other. It looks like it's it's going to be pi, around pi over fifteen, but let's we need to uh, verify that. Okay. Okay, so we're going to do that by setting these two functions equal to each other. Okay, so first find the so we're going to find the intersection point. Because that we need to know that, um, because that's how we're going to determine our bounds. Okay, for the first part, for the first area, and for the second area. Okay. Okay, so we have 7 minus 7 cosine 5x, okay, equals to 7 times cosine of 5x. Okay, so setting everything. Um, so just rearranging terms here, okay, we're going to get um, 14 cosine 5x, okay, equals to 7, okay, so, so basically I just moved the 7 cosine 5x on the other side, okay, to the, uh, I took the one on the right, moved it to the, to the left side, and then moved the 7 to the right side, so then cancel out the negatives, and this is what we end up getting. Um, so from here we're going to have cosine of 5x equals to 7 over 14, which is going to give us 1 half. Okay. All right. So if, you, if you've taken any kind of uh, trick course, then, uh, then the way to solve this is you use a substitution technique. Okay. So we're going to do that here. Okay. We're going to let, okay, we're going to let y be equal to 5x. Okay. So then we have cosine y equals to one half. Okay. So from here, uh, we're going to get y is equal to okay, pi over three. Okay. And this is the only value with that. This is the only angle we need uh, because in our problem we're only going x is only going going between zero and pi over five. So now what we have to do is solve this. Right. Solve this and back back in terms of x. Okay, so since y is equal to 5x, that means we have 5x equals to pi over 3. And so that means x is going to be pi over 15. Okay. And that's what we see here. Okay, that is the that's the point of intersection here. Okay. Alright. Okay, so now. All right, let's go ahead and find the area of the first region. Okay.
Okay, so we're going to have our integral is going to go from 0 to pi over 15. Okay, so we're going to top minus bottom. Okay, so the top part, the top function is 7 times cosine 5x. Minus the bottom part. Okay, so we're going to have minus... Seven minus seven cosine five x, and we're going to integrate with respect to x here. Okay, so I'll make sure I close this parentheses here okay, for the first one. Okay. All right. So now, okay, let's do this. Um, this is going to this is going to be equal to 0, the integral from 0 to pi over 15 of, okay, simplifying this, we're going to get 7 times cosine 5x plus, okay, 7 times cosine 5x, that's going to give us 14 times cosine of 5x. Minus 7. Okay, so integrating this, we're going to end up getting, um, so here we use the, uh, we're going to use the u substitution rule, so let me just do that on the side here uh, for this part here. Okay. Let's do that up here. So the integral of cosine 5x, okay, so remember we let, for this we let u be equal to the argument of cosine, and so du is going to be 5dx, and so that means we have 1 fifth du equals to dx. Okay, so that means we have the integral of cosine u times 1 fifth du. Okay, so going back to the u substitution idea, Okay, so du is equal to 5dx, and so then from there we can we can um, solve for dx. So we get 1 fifth du, so dx is going to replace, or get replaced by 1 fifth du. And so that's going to give us, okay, the integral of cosine is sine. So we have 1 fifth sine of u, but u was 5x. Okay. So that means, right, from here, okay, we're going to get... Okay, so 14 is just a constant, so we end up getting 14 fifths times sine of 5x, and then the integral of 7 is just 7x, so we have minus 7x here. Okay, and we're going to evaluate this from 0 to pi over 15. Okay, so plugging in pi over 15, okay, we end up getting 14 fifths times sine of, so 5 times pi over 15, that's going to give us pi over 3, and then minus 7 times pi over 15. So sine of pi over 3, okay, that's going to be uh, square, square root of 3 over 2. Okay. Minus 7 pi over 15. Okay, and so this is uh, this is equal to seven fifths square root of three minus seven pi over fifteen. Okay. Okay, so that's for the first uh, for the first region. Okay. All right, so now, okay, so now let's go to uh, the second region. And also, by the way, when I plug in zero for the lower bound, we just get zero there, okay? All right, so now we're gonna find the area of, the, of region two, okay?
Okay, so for that we have the integral. It's going to go from right from okay, so from pi over fifteen to pi over five. And for that region, okay, it's going to be, okay, for the top part, we have 7 minus 7 times cosine 5x, and the bottom part is going to be 7 times cosine 5x. Okay. So pretty much we get the same thing as we had earlier up here, okay, but we're going to take, since the top becomes the bottom, bottom becomes top, okay, so Essentially, we have this integral here, okay? All right, but we're going to take the negative of that, okay? Okay, so we have 7, okay, so it's going to be 7 minus, okay, 14 times cosine of 5x, right? Again, it's just because looking at our figure, okay, so the top, right? So here the bottom becomes the top part, and the top part here becomes the bottom part. So really, we just need to take the negative of our integral, okay? Okay, for the integral setup, okay? And then evaluate, and then we take the integral of that, okay? And then evaluate from pi over 15 to pi over 5, okay? Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so we're going to get a similar result from what we had earlier, right? This is going to give us 7x okay, minus 14 fifths times sine of 5x. Okay, we're going to evaluate this from pi over 15 to pi over 5. Okay, so we have 7 times pi over, pi over 5 minus 14 fifths times um, 5 times pi over 5 is going to give us pi over 3. Okay, and then minus okay. so we'll go ahead and distribute the negative afterward. So we have 7 times pi over 15 minus 14 fifths times sine of pi over 3. Okay. So we have 7 pi over 5. Minus 14 fifths times sine pi over 3 is it's going to be root 3 over 2. Minus 7 pi over 15 plus Okay, so distributing the negative sign, we get 14 fifths times sine of pi over 3, which is root 3 over 2. Okay. Okay, so, all right, so, let's see. Okay, so then we're going to get... Okay, this is going to be 7 pi over 5 minus uh, 7 times the square root of 3 over 5 minus 7 pi over 15 plus 7 times the square root of 3 over 5. Okay, so now, okay, so combining that with, okay, with the, so we have up here, this was for the first region, okay, and here, this was for the second region, okay. So, 
So we can simplify this a little bit here, okay? So seven, so first of all, these are gonna cancel out here, okay? And then we have seven pi over, we're left with seven pi over five minus seven pi over 15. Okay, so that's going to give us, um, that's, that's gonna be, okay, so we're gonna have three, 21. Okay, so we have 14 pi over 15. Okay, so we're gonna have Okay, so combining these, we're gonna get uh, 21. All right, so we have 14 pi over 15 then from here. Okay, so combining this, okay, so this is the area of the second. So combining these, okay. Okay, so for the first one, we have seven fifths square root of three. Okay, so the total, okay, so again, the total area is going to be, we have 7 fifths times the square root of 3 minus 7 pi over 15 plus 14 pi over 15. Okay. Okay, so that's going to leave us with 7 fifths times the square root of 3 minus, actually, sorry, plus 7 pi over 15, okay? So that is the total area, okay? okay. That is the solution, okay? So again, we, going back up here, okay, we have to calculate the area of the first region, okay? So we have the integral of 7 times cosine 5x minus 7 minus seven times cosine five x. And then for the second region, okay, flips around. Okay, so we have integral of seven minus seven cosine five x minus seven times cosine five x. Okay. And so the first integral is gonna go between zero and pi over 15. The second integral will go between pi over 15 and pi over five, okay? All right, so, so that was the result for the region one, for region two, and we added, okay, so we add those together. Okay. And that's our uh, final result. Okay, that's the total area.